All right, so the next company we are going to be covering today, let me switch here, is going to be Credit Corp Limited, symbol BAP. As you can see, we were also talking about them in the Discord, July 6th, July 6th. Now, it is a, not our first time trading this company. We have traded them before. Great company. Um, as you can see by their charts, they were actually quite resilient through uh, the past six-month slump in the market. Great that we're past that now, so we can finally reach for those new all-time highs. Uh, this chart is not representing the 180 for whatever reason, but as you will see in trading view, uh, it is there. It's a very nice chart. One of the things that drew our attention to this company was A, RSI bottoming out and pointing up, typically a bullish symbol. Then another thing bringing our attention to this company, sentiment. It was low. You want to be buying low and selling high. You want to be buying when it, be greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy, right? So when the sentiment is low, these are the most opportune times of getting in before that sentiment starts rising again. Um, the other thing would be the MACD. As you can see, it's oversold, also kind of lower than it's ever been right here. So gives a great opportunity to again be buying low. These are all bullish indicators. These are indicators that we use. These are objective indicators that we consistently apply to every company that it is that we look at regardless, right? So ev everything's getting tre treated equally. There's no bias. We're not looking at headlines. We aren't making these quick. Very well thought out. We're very planned. So and just as a reminder, the reason we are talking about it is because, um, again, we were talking about it July 6th. Now, let's go in here. Let's go in here. This is what the uh, bigger picture would look like, a more uh, tailored chart here. As you can see, this company has made 250% runs, 100%, 167%. And if you were buying right around this time, you could be up as much as 600%. Another thing that we find interesting with this company we have our dividend, right? As we were mentioning with the previous company we were looking at, PetMed. This company has a great dividend of 3.98%. That is massive. Uh, the U.S. national average is in that 2 to 3% dividend range. So what us bulls, we really like to see companies that are offering dividends above 3%. Typically a desired trait when we are making our trades. Now let's look at their financials. For 2017, they had a profit margin of 23.24%, huge. 2018, they had a profit margin of 22.30%. 2019, they had a profit margin of 21.86%. And in 2020, they had a profit margin of 1.89%. Very solid, very solid. We like to see that. In 2021, they had a profit margin of 18.51%. So as you can see, if you were to take an average across all these years, right? Again, this is COVID year. This is COVID year. But if you take the average across all of these, we're looking at over 20%, right? Over 20%, that is massive, regardless of industry. Um, these are financials that we want to see. These are companies that are going to be producing um, re revenue for years to come. Um, when, when you're thinking of purchasing a stock or purchasing a company, what is it you're really buying? What is it you're really buying? You're buying a legal entity that has the legal right to make money doing a specific service or providing a specific good that typically they own the rights to, maybe the trademarks, maybe the patents. Uh, other companies don't. You're, you're, you're essentially buying a method of making money that is legally owned by that en entity. So why is it you would potentially buy a company that's not producing a positive profit margin? Beats me. Um, so at a bare minimum, these are things that we like to see when we are placing our trades. Now, if we look at a more technical level of company BAP, Credit Corp Limited, we can also see that this company has shown general growth over time. As far back as the early 2000s, this company has been consistently growing, um, not depreciating, not showing signs of decay. It has been consistently growing without any issues. As you can see right through here, it used the monthly, again, keep in, time, keep in mind our time frames that we are using. This is a monthly time frame. 
It has used the monthly 180 moving average as a support before, as a support before. Let me uh, see if there's a couple things I can add to this chart real quick. So as you can see from what I just added, this company, along, alongside a lot of other indexes and companies that we might be even covering today, is showing an inverse head and shoulders here. This is typically a bullish symbol, uh, signal you would buy in these pockets right here on the shoulder, right in the head. Boom. Inverse head and shoulder. What are we currently projecting for this company? Right now, we're currently projecting a gain of as much as 173%. Honestly, that's even a little conservative. Can even bring it up to a flat two. What a round number, what a nice number, right? Um, and again, this company would benefit from the financial sector also showing strength over periods of time. And honestly, it's one of my favorite companies currently in the financial sector to be investing in. So pretty much, that pretty much covers this company. I think we'll get into our next company. Again, my name's Ethan. Make sure to check out my website, ethanren.com. From there, you can find links to all my various socials. Um, we are currently live on YouTube and Twitch, so make sure you're following and subscribing if you want to stay up to date with all the latest information. And uh, yeah, let's get into our next company here.